Here you go, high five. High five, high five. Yay. 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 I've never done this with a child before, so I mean, I've played for 11 years overseas in some of the hardest places, you know, I've lived in Indonesia, I've lived in China, I've lived in South Korea, I've lived in some of the most difficult places just to live as a foreigner. But this is a whole nother different kind of difficulty. Time management is a challenge. Picking and choosing what you're gonna do. I don't have time to sit and chat with my teammates after practice. You know, I don't have time to like, if there's a social event that I would love to go to, but I know, oh, like that means I'm gonna get a few hours less of sleep. I gotta not go. You know, things like that, that it's hard to say no to other people, but it's, I'm learning that I have to say no. <laughs> and, and remember why I'm here. Why I'm here is to compete, to play volleyball, to show my daughter, to show other girls out there and women and mothers that, that this is totally doable. How it's doable is a whole nother story. It's difficult, but I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I've probably since I arrived here, it's been about three weeks. I think I've said I wanted to go home three or four times. It's not because of anything with anybody else, it's because of me. Because sometimes you reach your breaking point, maybe you're tired, maybe your body hurts. Again, maybe you had a bad day of practice and normally you would come home and shake it off, oh, go tomorrow, but I come home and I see the sacrifice that my daughter is making, that my husband is making, that Ola, the nanny is making. It makes you think like, whew, like this isn't just me in this, this is other people and other people that I really care about. So I gotta make sure that I'm really getting every ounce that I can of greatness out of this. It's hard to decide exactly when you want to try to have a baby because I feel like I was peaking as an athlete and then you're also kind of peaking as a potential mother as well, you know, to have a child. Before the last season I played, which was in 2017, 2018 in France, and I kind of knew that it was going to be my last or potentially my last because the next phase was I wanted to try and have a family. We had tried before, and I had a pregnancy before Noelia that ended up in miscarriage. So when I got pregnant with Noelia, it was a little bit of a relief, just because it was, you know, I don't know, it's a little bit emotional topic. But yeah, just pure joy and excitement and, and relief. I think that just in society in general, mothers are looked at as like your place is at home. Your children need you, you need to be there for them which is 100% true, but it's also doesn't mean that we can't do something else as well. I don't want to say I caught flack for it, but I did feel like questioned at times when I decided to play in this league, actually. Like when I, I told people, hey, I'm going to play, their first question is, what about Noelia? And my answer was like, well, she'll just come with me. I think that just like the more untraditional, you know, maybe elder generations, it's hard for them to understand just because that's not how it has been always. The people that aren't so modern, so for example, my grandparents, even my parents, or other people, you know, that age group, they might not agree or just say, how on earth are you going to do that? That's kind of the reason why when I was finished playing the last season, I was like, oh, I'm going to be done. and. I have to be done in order to have a baby. That's a hard decision to make because I've been playing my entire life and I've worked so hard to get to where I am that it was like, okay, I'm giving all that up, you know? And of course it's for like the best thing in the world, but still a hard choice. The biggest challenge is probably guilt just because I'm used to being with her 24-7. That's still a challenge. I think the first day of practice when I left Noelia with Ola, the nanny, I cried because, you know, it was that whole like I'm handing her to Ola and she's reaching for me and, and crying and and that's just something like you can't, <laughs> you can't like get through. I mean, it's, you can't help it. It's just inside you. I think if you're passionate about your work, you can make it happen. And I believe that with anything. I believe that as an athlete too. If, if you want something so bad, you will make time for it.
and a lot of people, I don't want to say use that as an excuse because it's definitely not easy. Time management is like the most important thing. But if you really, really want something, you will definitely make it happen. And I think you'd be surprised at what you're capable of, just as a human and, a, and as a woman. I mean, after you have a child, you just aren't so empowered anyways, <laughs> that it almost gives you more energy to, to continue your career. I hope just me being here with her and the fact that we're playing on national television and that it's known that there are mothers playing professional sport like me, that in itself is such an inspiration to other people because it, it shows that you don't have to choose. And it kind of, it's maybe a motivator too for some people. I mean, I've already talked to some of the players that are playing in Athletes Unlimited and they've approached me like, oh my gosh, I want to do this, you know, I want to have four children, but I'm 24 years old and I'm on the national team or whatever and I'm playing great and you being here, just being here physically and doing this shows me that, that I can do it. Yeah, that's like for me, like really heavy, like that's awesome.